At two in the morning today, Peter Sagan announced his retirement from professional road cycling next year. Sort of. We're going to react to his video, run it through, see what he said. He's got some big plans for next year. I was minding my own business. This is when I get some downtime. You're all asleep in Europe. America, you were still awake. I see you. But he's in San Juan at the moment in Argentina. So he's on that uh, whatever East Coast time zone. And so he's popped up this video called my programs for the future. He just put it up on Twitter. It wasn't like a big thing. And here he is. We, we see he's just sitting in a, on a, a couple of deck chairs with his, with his boy in, in Argentina somewhere on the rest day. He says it's his birthday. Um, it's kind of the opposite to Nara Quintana did like a full-blown press conference, 27 minutes long, national TV, to say, uh, you know, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. Anyway, here's what Sagan had to say. Va bene, eh, niente. Oggi a giorno di mio compleanno ho deciso di dirvi a no, novità, novità, va bene, i miei pensieri, i miei programmi. Niente, è arrivato il momento quando devo dire a tutti perché credo che up. tutti ci lo meritano a sapere che faccio ultimo anno di sua bicicletta di strada. Come professionista. Okay, so as again said, he's retiring from road cycling and this is his last year in 2023. The last time we'll see him in the Tour de France. He's doing the interview and he's doing the sort of, well, let's call this a press conference, the video in Italian, um, which he's pretty comfortable in. E per l'anno prossimo voglio più concentrarmi sicuramente, rimango in squadra Total Energies. E voglio concentrarmi più per qualificarmi a Olimpiadi di mountain bike. Okay, so this now is making sense. And this was this is not surprising. This has been a trend with stars nowadays, not even at the end of their career. We've got Juan Bernard and MVDP have kept focusing on cyclocross whilst they are still, you know, the top classics riders in the world. We had Pidcock sign a big extension with Ineos. And, you know, he's the mountain bike Olympic champion. They've, Pinarello developed a bike, mountain bike for him. He still does CX. Sort of the multiple, the stars doing this has become much more common. And Sagan used to be a mountain biker, I believe, back in the day in, you know, 2007 or whatever. Was he junior world champ? Like Rasmussen Full saying, I don't know. I was like, a, I, was, I wasn't even born then. Um, but yeah, this is a common theme, but this is, uh, I expected this to happen with special, obviously having bikes across the, you know, mountain bike road range. And I reckon there'll be gravel soon, but okay. Paris 2024, what, what do you want to qualify for in the Olympics? Eh, fare qualche gara piccola sulla strada, però. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Fare qualche gara piccola sulla strada, però. But now, I'll do some minor road races, but what I contemplate is not to do any more world tour races. So he's not really, re he's not retiring from road cycling. So he'll still be on Total Energy road team, pro Conti team next year, who basically have invites to everything. But he says he won't do any more world tour races. So maybe he'll do like, I don't know, a Cam Worth schedule or like Tour de Vendée, some, you know, Thoreau Brolion, which is partially gravel, sort of races dwells dual head Hageland for points, maybe? Quello che sto pensando non fare più le gare World Tour e arrivare bene per Olimpiadi e da lì dopo vediamo. Però diciamo che questo è il mio ultimo anno che mi vedete sulle gare World Tour. Ok, so Sagan so sort of saying basically he's not retiring from road cycling he is retiring mainly from like top level world tour competition and he's basically i guess this means they can say okay at the tour de france this year they can say this is his last time you'll obviously see at the tour de france and they can have the whole the whole show about that and every race has now been forewarned you know la ultima bala style although he kind of hasn't retired as well that's again this is the last year you'll see him bene che è una, una decisione che si è presa da tanto tempo, per cui prima cosa non è un addio, rimane davanti ancora un sacco di tempo. Che vogliamo arrivare a Parigi in computer perché Parigi è importante, importante per tutto quello che ha dato con il Tour de France, con la maglia verde, ma soprattutto importante per Total Energy Team e lo sponsor, che Total Energies, che è sicuramente uno dei, dei sponsor più incredibili di questo sport, 
e che aiuterà tanto questo mondo a crescere ancora. So there's something interesting here and this I think definitely has come out from they would have seen in the metrics from Pidcock's win at the, the mountain bike and the Olympics like and Carapaz as well. So Ineos had two Olympic gold medalists that cycling apart from the Tour de France really ain't that big. Maybe it'll change. It's growing. It's going well. But, you know, apart from you and me, like there's not not broadly people don't even really know what Liège, Bastogne Liège is or Tour of Flanders, frankly, outside of, of the heartland countries that follow the sport. But everyone knows what the Olympics is. Everyone knows what Olympic gold medal is. You know, you you watch the ryth- rhythmic gymnastics. If you got <laughs> your country person competing for the chance of a medal, you watch like whatever the, the shooting. I will archery, whatever um, at the Olympics because it's the Olympics. So for the sponsors, and it's in Paris, Total Energy, French multinational. If they can get a guy on the payroll, at least competing for a medal at the Olympics in mountain bike. I mean, to be honest, he'd be pretty good for the road race too, based on the circuit they'll have. But you know, he, he's—I don't know—I don't know mountain bike too well. But it just seems like Olympics is a big thing, and that's why you got guys like Viviani on, you know, a, a long contract at Ineos when he's not a good sprinter on the road anymore, and so a lot of the value of Ghana and a lot of the track guys. So it's interesting how the World Tour teams are now being. The World Tour teams are using sponsor money for guys whose primary sort of relevance will become, or at least a big part of their relevance and, and appeal, is not even on the road. And that's what's going to be Sagan in 24. E dall'altra parte, eh, Peter, magari meglio lo dici te, con chi continuerai questo tuo progetto anche per il dopo carriera? Va bene, diciamo come stai parlando, non è ancora fine di tutto, allora. Uh... Non vale neanche che vado a ringraziare a tutti che sono stati sempre dietro, però sì, il mio gruppo che mi ha sempre appoggiato come Giovanni Lombardi, Gabriele, è sempre stato a mio fianco Maros, eh, Gonchar, il meccanico, Jan Valak, eh, Bodhi, Daniel, che sono sempre stati in eh, mio gruppo. E... Voglio ringraziarli e sicuramente andiamo avanti per fare questo diciamo, incredibile progetto di arrivare a Parigi Olimpiadi con mountain bike, che vediamo se è anche possibile, <ride> però eh, dai, io credo che può essere un'altra buona avventura. We'll say if you are a gravel racer in America, a competitive gravel racer, I would clock's ticking. <laughs> Clock is ticking on I would I would get get in shape for 2023 because Sagan probably is gonna bring Daniel Oss and Bodna and there'll be Bala Bala there at least in 2024 <laughs> at um at the big gravel races, so at Unbound. Um so I get I guess good luck. Um and yeah, Sagan's handling's crazy. So <laughs> I will not be surprised to see him on the gravel circuit ASAP. Ecco, un'ultima cosa anche da parte mia che chiaramente Peter è Peter, gli vogliamo tutti bene, chi più chi meno come me, ma l'azienda Peter va avanti per cui anche dopo l'Olimpiade eh, di Parigi si continuerà face- facendo qualcosa nel ciclismo e, e sicuramente lo faremo insieme a Mike, Dario e Ludo, no? No, sicuramente i miei sponsor ufficiali che li devo ringraziare tanto sicuramente continuiamo avanti sempre con, con Specialized con eh, occhiali 100% con eh, vestiti sportful che mi hanno appoggiato tutta la mia carriera e, e anche questo voglio fare come un tipo di ringraziamento che non voglio andare via da ciclismo solo così. I want this to sort of be a thank you. I don't want to leave cycling just like that. I mean, maybe Sagan, maybe he sort of senses his relevance at the Tour de France diminishing, you know, like he's second behind Gaviria at San Juan sprint. He's not winning as much. He still won, a, I think it was, at Romney or Swiss stage last year, but he senses his time at the top level really diminishing and the Tour de Route doesn't suit him that much this year. And maybe he wants to... Instead of just being like, 
at, at this time next year. Oh, you won't see me on the road again, but I'm not really retiring, so that's not my retirement. He wants to, you know, this can be his big, yeah, his big goodbye on the big stage of, of road cycling, even though, yeah, okay, technically he might be doing, as I said, you know, Trobro Leon and, and Paris Tour next year, um, plus with the mountain bike as a big focus. That's sort of how I'm reading this rather than just, as he said, like just slipping away and say, like, oh, okay, Sagan's retired now, but he's not been, he's not really been competing at the Tour de France for a couple of years. Um, I guess this way, yeah, there'll be a bigger deal made of him. I want to do another adventure that will be a bit different, certainly with my sponsor. Allora, ragazzi. Hold on, hold on. This is like a different camera angle. I reckon they've done a second take here because, as I said, I, I wasn't going to do this video reacting, but then I had to unpack it because it was kind of a bit confusing. I reckon they've done a second take here because they they realize, hold on, you've kind of said to people you're retiring, but you're not really retiring. <laughs> I would like to reiterate, I'm not sort of retiring, um, I will, but I will, I will later. I want to remind you that this is not my adieu ancora. Allora ancora mi avete tra le palle per un po' di tempo, volevo solo dire che andiamo avanti con i nostri progetti e che sarà ancora tempo per divertirsi. <laughs> Vuoi aggiungere qualcosa? Vaffanculo. Ciao. I guess not surprised to see this, a little bit <laughs> different setting and kind of, it seems like off the cuff, maybe relaxed, kind of like his style. Um, a little bit confusing maybe, uh, but I don't mind it. I, it makes kind of sense to me. He's winding it down. He's going to retire from road cycling for the most part in serious races in 20, by the end of 2023. He's going to go for the Olympics and he'll be in lots of gravel videos and all that sort of jazz. But yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, do you think it's too early? Do you think Sagan's still got something left in the tank uh, in classics? And he came top 10 in the World Chance Road Race last year. Like He's not full washed. So what do you think? Maybe he just doesn't want to you just don't want to do it in road cycling anymore. I get that too. Let me know down below. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.